We've just finished our Yaling Microsoft Teams room solution for an architectural firm based in Worthing. This project consists of ceiling mounted microphones and cameras, which have been installed on custom cut ceiling poles to perfectly match the room's interior. Here's how we did it. This project started with a team of electricians who came in to install a 25mm galvanised conduit and pulled in all the Cat6 cables to our locations. Day one started mostly with plan and preparation to work out exactly how the poles were going to fit on the camera and microphones. The existing display was to remain as well as the Logitech PTZ camera mounted above the screen. It became clear that mounting the new PTZ camera on the pole would be a challenge as the included bracket didn't quite align with the mounting holes, so we made up an adapter plate to securely fasten the brackets together. Sometimes when you're combining products from different manufacturers it can be difficult to get things to align but with some engineering perseverance we made it work. The electricians had pulled the cables to a nearby cupboard but it was down to us to find a route into the AV rack location. Even though we've made up an adapter bracket to mount the camera we had trouble sliding it on so the solution to this was to etch out a groove channel to allow the bolts to slide through. Next job was to mark out the soundbar location and fit the mics on the pole so we could offer them up to the ceiling. When mounting the soundbar, we always put careful consideration into how we're going to hide the cables to give it that floating look. Once we'd measured, we fixed the bracket and then drilled through to the void behind with hope of fishing the cables through. If there's enough pair of hands, it's always worth collecting the dust to avoid making a lot of mess. The wall consisted of laminated ply plus two layers of plasterboard, so it took a bit of drilling. It's always a good idea to shine a light at either end just to make sure the void isn't blocked off somewhere. Thankfully, there was a clear path through. With a few tries of the cable tongue, it poked out exactly where we needed it to. It's never easy getting cables through a wall, especially if there's already existing cables in the way, but with some back and forth action, we were able to pull them through. So that's day one complete at our Microsoft Teams room project over in Worthing. All of the cables are in place and we're starting to get the rack in. Back tomorrow for day two. Day two started with setting out the laser on a tripod to align it with the height of the light fitting, so we had a mark to cut down our poles. Whilst the poles were being cut down, it was time to focus some attention on the AV rack. The Cat6 cables needed socking, terminating and labelling. Although any metal cutting tool could be used, such as a hacksaw, a pipe cutter gives a nice clean straight cut and also saves a bit of time. It even comes with its own deburring tool to remove any sharp edges. This is a good example of using the right tool for the right job, which when used correctly will give you the best result possible. It's good practice to burn the ends of the cable sock to stop and fray them when feeding the cables through. After the poles have been cut down, we need to drill holes through to get the fixing bolt through, whilst considering the orientation of the device. Once the poles had been fitted, we finished off the rack and started on the ceiling terminations. We used Cat6 modules, then patched down through the poles to hide the cables. Black sock was used on the cables to give it a finished look. The system was commissioned and tested to our usual standards, then handed over to the client. 